Hey guys, so guess who didn't film an intro? Me. But that's okay, we're just gonna go right into it, I guess, um, after I stop dropping everything. I'm gonna start off with the Dr. Jart Water Drop Moisturizer. Now, I got this in a birch box recently and I've really liked it so far. I'm almost out, I need to go buy the full size. Um, at first, it does feel like a water water-based no silica based primer but once you put it on the face it does sort of melt but I'm just gonna put up my hair and right here I realized that I lost one of my plugs so I'm gonna go with that real quick and then we're gonna head on to foundation I ran out of my makeup forever HD foundation so I started using this um, born this way foundation from Too Faced I'm in the color vanilla and I'm just going to put this on a damp Real Technique sponge. Now I've only been using this cup for a couple days, I had a couple samples but I'm pretty sure I like it more than the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I will have to buy the full size and see. And I did put on a little too much here but that's okay, we're just going to blend it out for like 30 minutes. <laughs> You're also going to notice that I don't use concealer. Um, this is mostly for time saving purposes. But if I were to use a concealer, I would use the NARS concealer in custard. Um, my, the pigmentation underneath my eyes is not that bad, so I, I find that this foundation does cover it up pretty well. And now I'm just going to set my foundation with a Real Techniques powder brush and I'm going to be using the Milani powder foundation in the color shell and I'm just going to be patting this all over my face. You don't want to smear it across your face. You don't want streaks. Um, but I should have let my foundation dry just a little bit longer. I'm not too sure why I was in such a hurry, but, but who knows. I didn't let my foundation dry. I didn't, I didn't film an intro. But we're gonna get through it. Now I'm just gonna put a little dimension back into my face. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. angled blush brush and I'm gonna use the contouring blush and bronzing powder from e.l.f. I don't use the blush in this one but I do like it um, and this is in the color St. Lucia. I'm just gonna put the bronzer into the hollows of my cheeks. First I'm gonna pat the color on and then I'm gonna blend it upwards and then into my hairline. And then I'm gonna put some on my jawline just to, you know, get rid of that little double chin that I have going on there. It's okay. I'm gonna put a little on my forehead and then I'm gonna put some in the temples, on my eyes, and some on my nose. I don't want, again, I don't want a chiseled look so I'm just gonna put a little dimension but I'm not gonna carve it out. And. I have no idea what that was, but let's do an instant replay. Beautiful. Next, I'm just going to be using a, what is this, <laughs> a Face Secrets a Duo Fiber Bronzer Brush, but I'm actually going to be using this for a highlight, and I'm just going to be um, going into this Lorac Pro Palette and using the color Nude, and I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks, a little on the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to just take some random brush and use the same color and put it on my brow bone. And I'll tell you why in just a second.
Next, I'm gonna be using this NYC um, wax and powder duo. I'm just gonna be using the wax out of this. Um, but the reason I put the highlight on my brow bone now and not after I do my brows is because I don't wanna get the highlight powder into my brow powder. Um, this is something that I saw Jamie Genevieve do in one of her videos. And she's awesome, so I just wanna be like her. You know what I mean? Next, I'm gonna be using this really old Mary Kay eyebrow brush, and I'm just gonna be, oh, I guess my hands are dirty. <laughs> I was painting earlier. Um, but I'm just gonna go back into this Lorac Pro palette and use the color Espresso. And I'm not gonna put this everywhere on my brow, I'm just gonna put it on the bottom and kind of line underneath my eyebrow. I start in the middle and then I'm going to go down to the tail of my eyebrow and then whatever excess I have, I'm going to put that towards the front of my eyebrow. And next, I'm going to be going in again to this palette and using the color Taupe. And I'm going to concentrate this in the front of my eyebrow and I'm going to line the top of my eyebrow just a little bit. Now, I had just done my eyebrows, so it was a little easier to not carve them out. If I were to carve out my eyebrows, I would do concealer and then powder and then highlight. I would do the highlight first. So I'm just going to do my other eyebrow real quick. <laughs> And I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to be taking these two same shades and I'm going to be using it on my eyes. <laughs> Making sure the camera is still on. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking that darker shade, Espresso, and I'm just going to line the outer portion of my eye. I'm going to take it from the outer corner and drag it into my lash line. And then I'm going to take whatever fluffy brush that I can find and go back into taupe and concentrate that on the outer corner of my eye. This is a MAC brush, I believe. I think it's at yours, Ashley. I'm sorry. <laughs> And then you're gonna see that I'm just gonna do this over and over again. I'm gonna do some, some of the darker shade, line my eye, go back in with a fluffy brush, just blend it out just a little bit, and I'm gonna go back and forth. Then we're gonna do the other eye, and then I'm gonna add some mascara.
And for mascara, I'm going to be using this Benefit Roller Lash. Um, I got the sample size of this because the brush was very similar to the Maybelline Cat Eye. And that mascara worked really well with my kind of eyelashes, but I am trying to phase out all my non-cruelty free makeup. So that's what I got and I really enjoy this mascara so I'm definitely gonna buy the full size. And for the final part of the look, I am going to be using this MAC lip liner that's upside down in the color oak. <laughs> and again, I am phasing all of my non-cruelty free makeup. I just want to make sure that I use, use it up, you know, just get my money's worth. And you want to make sure that your lip liner is sharp but don't use a regular pencil sharpener like I'm doing now because then this happens. The struggle is real. Now I'm not gonna overline my lips. You can if you want, I do sometimes. It it just depends on my mood. I'm going to drag this up onto my bottom lip about halfway. And to finish this, I am going to be using the Lip Injection Lip Gloss from Too Faced. It, this is just a plain gloss. It doesn't have any color. This is a lip plumping lip gloss, um, but it not only has the short term effects, but it does have collagen in it, so it is a long term effect product, I guess you can say. Um, but once I blend out all this lip liner, this look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed. This took me a really long time to edit. Voiceovers kind of suck. <laughs> okay, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.